Hello everyone and welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I'm your host, Stan Rattan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show where I try to help you spend your wine dollars wisely, or in this case, your hard cider dollars wisely. Yeah, I'm going off the beaten path just a little bit. I hope you don't mind that. Um, I was uh, handed these samples of some ciders and I thought it would be a good idea to do that and also uh, try it with, uh, this is a big thing now, adding a little bourbon to your cider. So we're still in Super Bowl week. I am wearing my one of my favorite uh, Seahawks players jersey, uh, Earl Thomas III. Of course I'm a defensive minded guy because I, I, I loved playing defense when I was in high school. It was my favorite part of the game. I played offense and defense but I loved playing defense. I was nose guard um, on a 3-4 front. And, you know, I did okay for a little guy. I think I weighed about 140 pounds soaking wet back in those days. Of course, these days, you know, I'm just trying to keep the weight off. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, next two episodes that I'm going to do are going to be on uh, best wines with Super Bowl food. But, you know, thinking about the Super Bowl, you may want to go off the beaten path a little bit and try a hard cider. The huge category. Huge category now. Uh, one of the fastest growing categories that I've seen in the store, uh, hard ciders all over the place, people are getting into them, They're, they like them a lot. And one of the reasons for that, aside from being very good, is they're low in alcohol, like this particular one is only 3%, and I believe this is only 5% alcohol, yes. So, you know, lower in alcohol, you can drink more without worrying about getting hammered, which during the Super Bowl it may be the case, unless of course you're a, a Patriots fan, you might want to get hammered right away because that's the way the game's going to go. <laughs> so I haven't done my prediction yet, although I did hear a good one. I heard uh, 28 to 23. I thought that might be a pretty good projection or prediction for the game. I'm going to wait to get my predict prediction until Friday. All right, let's get started. We're going to do a little rinse just in case there's something on the glass. So we're going to do this two ways. We're going to try the cider straight up, then we're going to try them with a little bit of bourbon in them. Let's see how they go. So this is um, Authentic Pear Cider Manor, Manor de Park. I believe that's a C. And these roll in at $10. They're from Normandy. And uh, like I said, this one is 3% alcohol. So this is a pear cider, hard cider. And this is a label. I've never tried this before. I'm a big fan of hard ciders. I um, have them often, and like I said, we sell a ton at the store. I'm going to get a little tighter. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we get on this one. Obviously, you can smell the pear, right? Nice cider. One of the, there's, there's two types of cider that people like. They either like them really dry, or they like them sweet. Angry Orchard from um, Samuel Adams, classic example of a sweeter style cider, wider pear cider, sweet. Um, can't think of a couple of the other ones that I have. Um, dark and Dry uh, cider from Spire Mountain, a little bit on the sweet side. Um, so, so that's, you know, a lot of people like them that way, but there's other people, the folks that like them on the dry side, and this pear cider from um, Manor du, Mar du Parc really hits the nail on the head. Kind of nice, very good acid, very clean, crisp, but delicious. It reminds me a little bit of a um, pear and apple together. Nice. This would strike a nice balance on the in-between side between the guys who like their ciders on the dry. A little bit more flavor. Good stuff. I like it a lot. I don't know if I should grade a cider. If I were to grade this one, I'd give it an A-. I think it's a very good cider. Let's move on to the next one from the same producer, Manor du Parc. Authentic cider from Normandy Brut. So it's, this is done in a drier style. Straight up hard apple cider. There you go. There's the label. 
ten dollars a bottle. This is a seven fifty, so I consider that a very reasonable price for a bottle of cider. Let's see what we get on this one. This one has a dusty element on the nose, and and it you know what it reminds me of it. Um, it reminds me of a, a box of apples that have been sitting around for a long time, and they, remember the old uh, what do they call them? The cellar. Um, Yeah, it has that old apple smell, you know, not rotten. No, I don't mean that, but just like that old apple. It's almost... Because my grandmother used to, you know, she would have boxes of apples because she made applesauce. And they'd have the boxes um, uh, stacked in the cellar or, not in the cellar, uh, the basement. What do you call that area where they put all their canned goods? I can't grasp the word. Anyway. She stored them in a cooler place, and I remember that smell of those boxes. It always, I, I'll never forget that smell. It seems blurry on my camera. Hope not. Hope the picture is good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a nice rounder um, mid palate on it. It has a nice uh, smoothness to it. It has good, delicious apple flavors. And the, the apples are ripe. They're ripe apples, but they're not. It's got good balance. It's a nice cider. No, no acidity like the pear cider. This is a softer, easy, this is a quaffable cider. This is a cider where anybody no matter what, we'll like it. It's just really good. It's 5% alcohol. You can drink it. You can probably have a couple bottles during the Super Bowl, not really notice the difference. However, we're going to change that up a little bit. I got my uh, bottle. This is one of my favorite bourbons. It's a rye whiskey. Excuse me, not a bourbon. This is one of my favorite rye whiskeys. Rittenhouse Rye. 100 proof. Love this. I love rye whiskeys and I'm really curious to try this with the ciders. This is beginning to be a really popular drink. A little bourbon, you might do vodka. It ramps up the alcohol a little bit just in case you're, you know, one of those guys that don't like um, too much alcohol in your cider. But we're going to see how these turn out. So, and I'm going to go about that much with the pear cider first off. Let's see how this works out. Definitely change, it changes the nose on it. That rye whiskey really kicks off. Let's see what we get on how this tastes. Let's see how it works out. I like it. I like it. So I did about that much, um, right about there on the bourbon or the rye, excuse me, and then that much on the cider, and it's really good. Uh, eliminate some of the acidity because you have that uh, that rye whiskey, but it adds a nice. That, actually, I really like that. That might be something I'm going to do this Super Bowl. Really do. It's it's great because you get that you know the, the the spiciness of the rye with the pear works really well. That's some really kick-ass uh, hard cider. Now let's try this with the uh, straight up brute. Oh, I, I did this backwards. I will just do it like this. Yep. All right, so remember the uh, brute style hard apple cider was a little softer on the palate, a little less um, Acidity. Let's see how this works with the, the uh, rye whiskey. Again, the rye whiskey comes through mostly on the nose. A little bit of apple coming through. Don't like that as much as a pear. Not nearly as much. I think that the rye whiskey really takes over, which I tr trust me, I like the rye whiskey, but you might as well just drink your rye whiskey straight. Um, so you can enjoy it instead of uh, 
you know, watering it down with a little bit of uh, this cider. Might be a little strong on the bourbon side. Let's kick it up a little bit. A little bit more cider. Nope. Like I said, it's just kind of like watered down rye whiskey. Um, moving that over there. So, I'm going to go A- minus on the pear. I'm going to go about a B- minus on the apple. I think it's good. I think a lot of people are going to like it. Do not mix bourbon or uh, rye whiskey with your cider, with the brute. It's just not going to work. I don't think there's enough going on. Whereas the pear, it's got good acidity, good flavors, and I think it works well with either bourbon or a rye whiskey. So, you might want to add, you could add vodka to the brute because vodka has very little flavor and that might be okay if you want to kick up the alcohol level or just enjoy it like it is. I hope you have good plans for the Super Bowl coming up and I hope you watch my next two episodes. I'm going to do best wines with Super Bowl food. I got a nice lineup. Everybody's kind of kicked in and helped me get some ideas. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to have my son help me shoot the episodes tomorrow. I hope he can make it. And thank you for watching. I hope you have a great weekend coming up and I hope that you're rooting for the Seahawks. Cheers.